Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a rectangle and inside this rectangle are three triangles that has an area of nine square units for the green and one square unit for the yellow and an unknown region, unknown area for this blue triangle. And incidentally, there are, there is also two white triangles that form this whole rectangle we are to find the area of the blue region the rectangle and the white region okay so for our solution we will be getting the blue region first so if we get this blue region first then we have for my solution we have to focus on these two triangles. This, let us label this first triangle as this triangle, a combination of yellow and white on the left. And let us label this as triangle A. And the combination of the yellow and the white at the right, let us label this as triangle B. Okay. Okay. So notice that these two triangles A and B have a common base of the same. So let us call the common base as B and a common height, which is we will call H. Okay. So for the area of A, it is actually equal to A is equal to 1 half times the base times the height, bh. And for b, it is actually the same. So we have 1 half times base times h. Okay. okay. So next is we notice that these two triangles, a and b, overlap at this one square unit triangle, the yellow triangle. So if we try to subtract this from this triangle A, then this is actually A minus 1. And for the B, if we subtract the 1 square unit triangle, then this triangle is actually B minus 1. Okay, so next is we actually subtract this 1 from this equation, first equation. So we have a minus 1 is equal to 1 half times bh minus 1. Okay. And we call this as c, the value for a minus 1. And for b minus 1 is equal to 1 half bh minus 1, which is also identical to c. So, this area a minus 1 if this is c then this is also equal to c so the point that i am trying to imply here is that these two white areas are actually equal okay so next is i want you to notice that this diagonal actually divides this rectangle into two equal parts okay so for the upper part it is equal to 9 plus c and for the lower part it's equal to the area of the blue and plus the white plus the yellow so we have let us call the area of the blue to be z so we have 9 plus c is equal to v plus c plus 1. Okay. And we cancel this c. And we subtract 1 on both sides. So we have c is equal to 9 minus 1 is equal to 8 square units 
And that is our answer for the blue region. Okay, so next thing that we'll find out is the area of this whole rectangle. So for the next thing that we have to do is we need to draw a line from this point of intersection of the yellow and the green triangle towards the right. And we draw a line, a horizontal line, and another horizontal line from this point to the left. Okay. And next is we draw a vertical line upwards from this point of intersection of this yellow and the blue triangle. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we need to shear this right triangle, this green right triangle. So we can shear this by drawing a line from this point to this point. So if we form that right triangle, then it still has the same area, 9 square units. And for this yellow, we can actually draw that right triangle by shearing and we still have the same area this should be one square unit okay so after shearing the two triangles then we are to draw a horizontal line from the point of intersection of this i mean where the points this is two triangles the green and the yellow meet draw a horizontal line to the left and also from for the point where these two triangles the blue and the yellow meet a vertical line this time okay okay so next is i want you to notice that this blue triangle is actually half of the area of this region this rectangle because this eight is actually a right triangle okay and that means that this since that half of that is eight then this region is actually 16 square units so this is 16. Okay, so next is I want you to notice this rectangle. This rectangle has a right triangle in it. The green right triangle has an area of 9 square units. And if that has the right triangle has an area of 9, then for this rectangle, this should have an area of 18 square units. Okay, so next thing that I want you to notice is that these two rectangles, the 16 square unit rectangle and the 18 square unit rectangle, actually overlap on this rectangle. Okay, so let us call that rectangle as x the area so this would be x so if that would be x since the total of this red rectangle is 16 then this area should be 16 minus x this should be 16 minus x and same for this area for the orange rectangle since they overlap with x so this will be 18 minus x and of course this rectangle the other rectangle since the yellow right triangle is one then you need we need to make this two to make this the area of the rectangle okay so next thing that we have to do is we need to solve this x by means of proportionality in terms of the square or rectangle so we have for the left side we have x over 16 minus x 
is equal to 18 minus x all over 2. So if we cos multiply, we have 2x is equal to 18 minus x times 16 minus x. And we have 2x is equal to, if we multiply this, we will get 288. Then this is negative 16. And negative 18, this becomes negative 34x plus x squared. And if we simplify further, we have x squared. And we need to put this to the right hand side, so this becomes negative 36. Then this pertains to be 288 plus 288 is equal to 0. So we now solve this resulting quadratic equation. Okay, so next is we solve this resulting quadratic equation and that I choose to be using uh, completing the squares. So by completing the squares, we have x squared minus 36x plus a number that will make this a perfect square tiny y and it is equal to negative 288. Right. And now for the third term, we have to divide this 36 by 2, and that would be 18. And if you square that, you have 324. Okay. So we need to add also on the right 324. So this becomes x square minus 36x plus 324 is equal to 36. And since this is a perfect square trinomial, this will be x minus 18 square is equal to 36. Then if you get the square root of both sides, you have x minus 18 is equal to plus or minus 6. So but we have actually two answers we need and we need to put this negative 18 to the right hand side we have x is equal to 18 plus or minus 6. so actually we have two answers x is equal to 18 plus 6 and that would be 24. x is equal to 24 and the other one is x is equal to 12. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we need to check the values of x if it will be correct in terms of numerical values. So for the first instance, x is equal to 24. And this portion is 18 minus x. So that would be 18 minus 24. It will become 6, negative 6. And for this portion, we have 16 minus 16 minus 24, and that would be negative 8. And this will be 2. So since it has negative areas, so we'll actually reject this answer. The x is equal to 24. And for if we check this x is equal to 12, then this becomes 12. Then this portion becomes 18 minus 12, 18 minus x. So this will become 6. And this is actually 16 minus x. So 16 minus 12, it will become 4. And this becomes 2. And since this other answer, the x is equal to 20, has all areas to be positive, then we'll make this the solution, x is equal to 12. Okay, so for the area of the rectangle, we have area rectangle 
equal to we can simply add these values that would be 12 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 and the area of the rectangle is equal to 24 square units Okay, so now for the final step, we need to find the value of the white region. Let us call that as 2C for it to be a total for the white. So it is equal to the area of the rectangle minus the area of the blue. Minus the area of the green. Minus the area of the yellow. So 2C is equal to 24 minus area of the blue, which is 8. And area of the green is 9. And the area of the yellow is 1. So 2C is actually equal to 6 square units. And that is our answer for the white region. Okay, so now to summarize, the area of the blue is 8 square units. And for the area of the rectangle, it is 24 square units. And for the area of the white region, which is 2 times C, is equal to 6 square units. And these are our answers. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you liked our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.